Let's see how to install VirtualBox on Windows 11. We're going to start by opening the web browser and here we're going to go to virtualbox.org. Okay, just like this, virtualbox.org. Here we're going to click on the big blue button that says download. Then we need to choose our operating system from the list here. I am on Windows, so I'm going to choose Windows Hosts. And as you can see, it's being downloaded. Once the download is finished, you should be able to find the installer file in your downloads folder. So let's open this. So here I'm going to choose downloads. And as you can see here, we can see the VirtualBox installer for Windows. All you need to do is double click on the file to start the installation. Now you might run into this error. Oracle VirtualBox needs the Microsoft Visual C plus 2019 redistributable package. So if it happens, just click on OK. Close the installer, and once again, it's letting us know that the installation failed. So back in the web browser, I'm going to go to Google, and here I'm going to look for Visual C++ redistributables, just like this, Visual C++ redistributable. And here I'm going to choose the first link, and from here we can download the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable latest supported downloads. So if we scroll down a bit, we can see this list. We need to click on the first link, latest supported redistributable version. Then we can see these links and I'm going to choose the x64 option and it was downloaded. We now need to install it and I'm going to agree and install. Okay, and it was installed and now we should be able to install VirtualBox. So let's go back to the downloads folder and try to install VirtualBox. So we can see the welcome screen. Let's click on next. Here we need to accept the end user license agreement. So I accept and next. From here, you can change the installation location, but I recommend to leave it with a default option. So I'm just going to click on next again. And it's giving us a warning about a temporary network disconnection that will happen during the installation. This is fine. So yes. And it's also going to install some missing dependencies. And from here, you can choose whether or not you want a desktop shortcut. And if you want VirtualBox to appear in your start menu, I'm going to leave everything checked. So just next. And it's now ready to install. So let's go ahead and install VirtualBox. And the installation is taking place. It won't take too long, a few minutes maybe. And VirtualBox has been installed. Let's start it. And from here, you can click on new to start creating your virtual machines.